Hi Virgo, welcome to your spirit messages for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, I've decided to bring these spirit messages back. Um, if you're new to my channel, I did them back. Or if you are familiar with my channel, I did them back in the end of last year into the beginning of the new year. And then I sort of discontinued them for a while. I did have a poll up on my community section on my channel where you could vote for what kind of readings you would like to see. <coughs> Sorry. And this was part of one of the selections that Spirit Messages would like to combat. So hopefully you like this. And if you do, leave me some comments, feedback down below in the comment section and tell me what you think. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising in um, Jupiter, male or female. Watching doesn't matter. Take what resonates, I guess, in a way. And um, we'll see what we get here. And this could be past, present, or future, if that makes sense for any of you also with these readings. So welcome, Virgo. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody is staying safe during this time. So Virgo, I'm going to pull three oracles from each deck. And then we'll clarify with the tarot. Probably one. And if I feel I need more than one, I'll pull more than one uh, for each oracle. And then I have these prayer cards that I actually purchased at the Dollar Tree and I bought two sets. They were both different. I mixed them together. So it'll sort of be like a prayer or affirmation, whatever, uh, however you like to call it. So that's a little extra at the end I'll pull for you. So let's see what we have here. What do you need to know right now? What does spirit need to tell you right now, Virgo? And everything you need to know about me is down below in the description box, as well as the first pin top comment uh, decks I'm using and where to buy them. Uh, social media links. If you'd like to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is below also. And your um, playlists are down below, love in general. If you're not comfortable, if you would like to donate or exchange energy, not comfortable using PayPal, only during the premiere, Super Chats are open and available for any sort of energy exchanges. And if you do, thank you. All right, so let's see what Spirit wants to tell you, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? We have Welcome the New. We have Grief Work. And we have Healing from the Past. So this feels like it's all intertwined here. So <clears throat> I feel like there may be some grief or healing from the past that you need to work on, heal from here so that you can welcome in new energies into your life, a new way of thinking, a new positive mindset, just new energy in general, more positive energy. So whatever grief or whatever that you've either way down deep inside you and you didn't really deal with it or grieve over it or heal from it, I feel like now is the time to deal with that grief and heal from it, especially if it's something from the past, so that you can welcome in all new things with a peace of mind and a healing heart for the future. Virgo. Wow. Okay. So let's pull three of these for you, Virgo. So it just amazed me how this comes out, healing from the past and then welcome the new. So that just kind of all intertwines together. Sometimes with these readings that happens, some of the messages intertwine and sometimes it's all little um, separate messages. So, all right, Virgo, let's get three of these for you, Virgo. That first one there was the butterfly oracle. This one here is the healing um actually notes the flower therapy then we have earth magic all right so what other messages do we have for virgo at this time spirit please what other messages for virgo what does virgo need to know healing that one at this time two more thank you ask and you shall receive all right virgo so we have world energy the earth is going through a transition of energy and your sensitive body is feeling it. You're, you are not alone except the help of others. <laughs> and that is just amazing how this came out. You may be somebody um, that is heavily aff affected by everything going on in the world right now. Everything. It's really affecting your energy. <clears throat> and we have here a sign from heaven. 
your loved ones in spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you'll be all right. Some of you, this could be associated to this grief work. Maybe you've lost somebody in the past, somebody very near, dear, close to you. It could be a friend, a family member, or something here. Um, somebody here. And maybe you never fully grieved over this person or healed from that. And uh, it's time now to do so. And we have here time to decide, make a decision now so you can move forward. Move forward in welcoming the new. So now is the time to decide to deal and heal, I feel. To grief and heal so that you can move forward. And if you did lose somebody, uh, I'm sorry if some of you have. And they, I think, are, you know, waving to you like this says and letting you know it's okay to grieve and heal and to move on. You know, spirit, you know, people who have passed over, you know, become spirits themselves. There, are, Everybody's always a spirit. You have a spirit within you and always lives on. So just know uh, their spirit is always with you. And spirits are always at peace. There's no discord within them. There's no sadness. There's no um, remorse. There's nothing. So it's just happiness, peace, and joy, and calmness. So know that, you know, moving on and welcoming the new, they, they want you to do that. They want you to do that. All right. So Virgo, let's get three of these. For you, Virgo. So we have Dragonfly Emergence. Emerging. Breaking through, coming through, breaking through. Um, all right. Take these two. <clears throat> all right. So now we have Ocean Ebb and Flow. Wow. Okay. What I was just thinking and saying when I seen the water here. Spirit just flew this out exactly what I was going to say. And I kept saying, oh, I don't want to forget. I wanted to get the cards out first. I said, don't let me forget. And then this card flew at me. And it's exactly what I was going to say. So we'll go over that in a minute. And now we have here Earth Magic. And this is the name of this deck, Earth Magic. So that's a special message there. We got fairies. So with this emergence, I feel like this is finally breaking through barriers, Finally breaking through anything that was holding you back, holding you down, emerging new and refreshed and rejuvenated, <clears throat> dealing, uh, breaking through emotions and feelings kind of energy is what the water is all about, flow, it's uh, emotions and feelings and energy. And that could be this grief work here. Like you see, she's almost like breaking through this whole pond of emotions, like finally just releasing it letting it all out, and now <laughs> here's the pond of emotions, and now she's ready to emerge from that and move on and heal. So that may be what some of you need to do here because we do have the ocean of emotion, emotions here. <coughs> so that's exactly what's going to say here. So I'm feeling here, just let your emotions ebb and flow. Uh, it's about going with the flow. It's about, you know, that kind of energy. But I'm also feeling with the emotions here. Let them ebb and flow out. And once you do that and release all that grief and do that grief work and then heal so you can welcome the new and move on in new energy, you have all this sun awaiting you once all the clouds have been totally, <clears throat> you know, healed away. You have the sun coming out, which is the most positive card in the tarot. It, you know, it's happiness and joy every single way. It's healing, success, victory, happy home and family. It's everything. So you have so much more ahead of you, so much ha more happiness, joy, success, everything ahead of you once you release and let this ebb and flow and let that grief come out and heal and welcome, and be able to welcome the new here. And then you have earth magic fairies here. So... You know, this is about growth and abundance of the earth. You know, everything grows and blooms, goes through cycles. Um, there's a lot of magic in the earth itself. You know, we go through the cycles, all this, you know, winter, spring, everything emerges again. And then summer and then fall, everything dies again. And But then 
frozen in time in the winter, but then everything starts over again. So it's a very magical time. So a lot of growth abundance here. I feel um, magical times coming in for you for the future. I feel. Wow, Virgo, a lot of strong messages here. So let's clarify these energies with the tarot for you, Virgo. I do ask Virgo, especially if you're new, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments and hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. I'm bringing back the singles readings. You'll also get the love in the general that I do. This reading, spirit reading, and bonus readings where we take a little look at love, life, and then advice for you. So if you're interested in all that, then please do uh, subscribe. And I may be doing extended readings on Vimeo in the future once the world straightens out and I have more time. Um, I am considered an essential worker, so I have been working a lot um, of overtime as of late. But a lot of places are going on lockdown, so it seems like things are now slowing down now. So but once things are back to normal, I may be starting to do uh, extended on Vimeo. All right, so what is this welcome the new for Virgo? Welcome the new. And this sign from heaven is right in the middle, so I feel like this is the most important message. So if you're wondering about your passed over loved ones or someone who has passed over, they are with you, they are around you, they're trying to send you signs, symbols, songs, uh, trinkets, whatever here. <clears throat> Maybe you see butterflies repeatedly or dragonflies or something like that or the same flower, whatever it is for you. Uh, know that it's signs from heaven. And I know that's a butterfly, but I'm getting ladybugs. If some of you are seeing ladybugs, um, I think they're starting to come out now, or if you live in a warm climate. So what is this welcome the new for Virgo? The Wheel of Fortune. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction. These are new things coming in. Fate and destiny, whatever. And there's, oh my God. You see what I see? There's the ladybug. <laughs> I can't make it up. Oh my God. So it's a wheel of fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing, you know, things, better things coming in for you. Um, better luck. So everything just going in a better direction. So welcome in these new things because they're divinely guided for you. I feel like only positive things coming once uh, you work through things of the past. Wow. So let's see. So... Okay, we got two here. What is this grief work? So we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is an energy of investing, but then also assessing, evaluating, waiting for the fruits to bloom. So <clears throat> the Knight of Cups is about you know moving forward with a more loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing energy, a sincere energy. So I feel like if you've been waiting, like, you know, like, you know, it's time to invest and do this grief work. And you've been kind of like, uh, you know, maybe it could even include going for counseling or therapy or support groups or something like that. And maybe you've been looking at those options and you're like, nah, nah, I don't know. But I think if you do hear, it'll put you in a more peaceful mindset and be able to move forward in that energy that I just spoke of by doing, uh, here, this here so that makes sense for some of you I feel like you're just looking at options like you know maybe you should go to some support groups or social groups or even counseling or therapy or something and you're just looking but you're like mm, not taking action the Knight of Cups takes action so I th think it's time to take action on this grief work however that means for you so let's see what healing what is the past healing from the past <clears throat> Way too many. I'm not feeling this one. The star. So there is the healing. Wow. Wishes and dreams coming true for the future healing. Divinely guided energy. Being hopeful and optimistic. So again, healing. Healing, healing. Two cards of healing. So only you know whatever is in your past that you need to heal from. Only you know what that is. Uh, this is double confirmation that you need to heal something from the past. If you need to reach out... <clears throat> social groups or like I said don't hesitate because you have all this divinely guided energy 
coming in for you. So what is world energy about for Virgo? The Knight of Pentacles. So this is Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that's your energy. So the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving, but he's sure, he's stable, he's grounded, he's sincere, he's pra smart, practical, makes wise choices carefully. I feel like whatever the world is going through right now is really affecting you. And it's almost kind of like making you feel like you're in the twilight zone, maybe. <laughs> and, and maybe making you, uh, or causing you to move even slower, like in life in general, about, you know, what you're doing, where you're going, decisions you need to make, you know, moving forward. It's just feel like I'm getting like a very mucky, like thick energy. Like you feel it hard to move through this energy with everything going on in the world today. But, uh, but it's saying here to accept the help of others. So again, asking for, um, advice or guidance or just reaching out and spending quality times with friends and family. I know that's hard right now, but you can FaceTime, talk on the phone. All right. So what is sign from heaven about for Virgo? The lovers here. So it could have been a past over loved one that you cherish deeply. You had a deep connection with could have been actual spouse or a lover, or it could be just a very close, close family, friend, something here that you had a deep, deep connection with, like a very balanced energy with. And just know, you know, you see the dark and the light energy here. So I'm not saying they're in, dark, in a dark place, but I feel like this one here is more like their spirit is always with you. you you're the white swan. They are the swan. That's their spirit. And they're always with you by your side no matter where you go what you do all right so <clears throat> let's get here maybe you also see swans often all right so what is this time to decide about for Virgo knight of swords so the knight of swords takes quick action this is telling you you need to decide to take quick action on something this moves forward very quickly. Just watch your action because sometimes it can be like a rebel without a cause or it can be um, that kind of energy where you just rush without thinking too clearly and sometimes it causes havoc or trouble or chaos unwillingly or knowingly. So be mindful of that energy. Swords all about mental clarity, truth, communication, um, standing up, telling it like it is, not taking any BS, cutting out things no longer serving you. So it's time to decide here and take action on that. Uh, whatever you need to decide on here. Like I said, it could be cutting out people, places, and things no longer serving you, or just telling the truth to somebody, clearing the air between somebody and having clarity, um, or just standing up for yourself to someone about a situation, however that resonates for you. So all right, I didn't ask it. So what is this dragonfly about for Virgo? For Virgo, the sun. So that's the healing again. The sun is also healing. And didn't I not say it's the most positive card in the deck? So, <clears throat> and here's the sun here that I spoke of. So you can emerge once all this energy, you can emerge here to the sun. Happiness, joy, success, victory, happiest, most positive card in the deck. Happy home and family, victory, success, everything with the sun. Emerging to total happiness here. All right, so what is the ebb and flow? Eight of Wands. So it's taking very fiery, passionate action. Travel, communication. It's all about travel, communication, and action. So an ebb and flow, you know, letting things just go with the flow, ebb and flow, uh, naturally. This is also taking action. So a lot of energy here of taking action. So what is this earth magic for or communication? Uh, maybe you need to communicate to somebody here. Just let it ebb and flow naturally. Or traveling. Although no one can really travel right now. But all right. What is this earth magic about? Three of pentacles. <clears throat> so this is about 
working hard and teamwork, collaboration kind of energy, learning something new. You know, as we're coming into spring, <clears throat> I don't know if you can stock gardens or planting, but maybe in the springtime, this is telling you to, you know, plant some seeds here, start a garden, start, you know, a flower bed or something like that. Get out in nature here. Let earth work its magic. Maybe very therapeutical for you. It may help you uh, with this healing process also. So let's see what's on the bottom here. Strength. So having strength, courage, bravery, determination, willpower, um, endurance, and be, being strong enough to get through these energies here, Virgo. All right. So let's get one of these for you, Virgo. Let's get a little prayer affirmation for you, Virgo. Let's get one of these for you, Virgo. What is the message or prayer for Virgo, please? Message or prayer for Virgo. I'm feeling this one. Faith can move mountains. Right, and the star is all about faith, hope, and optimism. The sun is the most positive card, positive card in the deck about having that faith to your happiness. So faith can move mountains. So just have faith, hope, and optimism. And you can move mountains, Virgo, to get past this and welcome the new. Wow, Virgo. Okay, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.